as a constitutional law attorney, former senior legal advisor and personal counsel to President Donald J. Trump. Jenna Ellis believes in the rule of law and the importance of integrity in our elections. And she's ready to tackle the big cultural and legal issues facing America. This is The Jenna Ellis Show. Here is your host, Jenna Ellis. Florida keeps on winning, and I have so upgraded my governor from the uh, absurdity that is going on in the leftist blue states. We need to change that around. And Governor Ron DeSantis just keeps winning, and he signed a uh, legislative package that the government should be about law and not woke politics. He tweeted this, quote, we promised we would increase protections against the proliferation of ESG in our state, and I'm proud to say we have delivered. We cannot turn a blind eye toward large financial institutions and corporations that marshal their economic power in service of an ideological agenda. We will be right back with more here on Jenna Ellis in the Morning from the free state of Florida. With inflation, the banking world collapse, and everything that Joe Biden is doing not to protect America, you need to make sure to secure your financial health, especially in retirement. And hey, if you're a millennial like me, that actually is sooner than you think. You need to start now, even if you are a millennial or a Gen Zer, to make sure that your financial health is actually healthy when we get to retirement. And Legacy Precious Metals has a revolutionary new online platform that allows you to invest in gold and silver online in real time. In a few easy steps, you can open an account online, select your metals of choice, and choose to have them stored in a vault or shipped right to your door. You'll have access to a dashboard where you can track your portfolio growth in real time anytime. You'll see transparent pricing on each coin and bar, and this puts you in complete control of your money. The platform is free to sign up for. Visit LegacyPMInvestments.com and open your account and see this new investing platform for yourself. Gold hedges against inflation and against a volatile stock market. A truly diversified portfolio isn't just more stocks and bonds, but different asset classes. This brand new platform allows you to make investments in gold and silver, no matter how small or large, with just a few clicks. Visit LegacyPM.com to get started. You can download the free investor's guide, and you can also call Legacy PM Investments to talk to a portfolio expert to get expert answers to your uh, to customize your personal portfolio. So visit LegacyPMInvestments.com to get started. Tell them that Jenna sent you. Welcome back. And as the 2024 presidential election cycle heats up, there are a lot of actually former Trump officials and former uh, Trump campaign personnel that are supporting and encouraging Governor Ron DeSantis to enter the race. He has not yet formally uh, declared his candidacy, but we do anticipate that. And one of them is my friend Ken Cuccinelli, who uh, you all will remember served in the Trump administration uh, as a part of the Homeland Security Office. He performed the duties of Deputy Secretary of Homeland Security for President Trump, and he has now founded the Never Back Down PAC, which is encouraging Ron DeSantis to run and says uh, on the website, which is neverbackdown.org, that every election is about the future. Ron DeSantis is the future, and he will never back down. We call on Governor DeSantis to run for president, sign the petition, join us to chart the future. So Ken Cuccinelli joins me now. And good morning, sir. And um, tell me, you know, there are so many people who are in this position that are former uh, Trump supporters who now look to Governor DeSantis as the future. Um, What is your perspective on why uh, this focus on Governor DeSantis? So for so many of us, the ones certainly that I'm most interested in, uh, appreciated the policy approaches that President Trump took but see a far better leadership opportunity, and of course, for eight years instead of four, with Governor DeSantis. I mean, in the in the in the largest swing state in the country, his leadership accomplishments have been stunning. I mean, he's been the best chief executive in every respect in the last couple of decades, not just the last couple of years, but the last couple of decades. And um, you know, ten years from now, Jenna, we may look back on 2022. And decide, you know, 
Florida stopped being a swing state with that election. But that election was orchestrated, run, and led by Governor DeSantis, and it was on the accomplishments that he had amassed over the previous four years without ever backing down from his conservative constitutional principles. It's really quite impressive. It is. And, you know, a lot of a lot of people see Governor DeSantis only uh, within the context of maybe the last two years, uh, perhaps the last um, four to six years of his term and think, well, you know, this isn't uh, necessarily something that he deserves all the credit for. And of course, President Trump um, is is now attacking him, saying, well, Florida was always red, but he turned Miami Dade County (laughs) red. And I mean, you just can't argue with the facts. Yeah, by double digits. Um, well, the president does kind of have a habit of arguing with the facts. I mean, <laughs> so apparently you can argue with the facts. But um, but I, I think regular Republicans get the notion, you know, there aren't too many counties in America you could name that ordinary voters from one side or the other would understand the significance of. And, and um, But Miami-Dade is one of them. And people get what an incredible accomplishment winning that by double digits is. And by the way, flipping the school board, right. uh, which he also did. He, he actually uh, has demonstrated something no one else even looking at running for president has done, and that is positive coattails. He has helped his whole team, and he, and he intentionally went about doing that, whereas in the last three election cycles, unfortunately— and to our great harm, the president has proven to be negative coattail effect. Um, and when you look at a 51-49 Senate, which, by the way, should be a Republican Senate, but for President Trump essentially scaring away our own voters in Georgia on January 5th, not January 6th, January 5th of 2021, those special elections, we now know we lost. And he convinced triple the margin of loss to stay home of our voters. And they did. And they did. And, you know, here years later, he's now finally saying, well, you know, we got to use every tool in the toolbox to try to win these races. Well, it would have been nice to say that all along. Might have won more races. Um, There are people who listen to him. And that is, uh, in some instances in the election space, really cost us dearly. We need a we need a top of the ticket that will bring the whole rest of the team up, not that everyone will have to worry about depressing our turnout in governor's races and Senate races and congressional races. If the idea is to change America for the better, you don't just need to win the White House. You need to win a bigger margin in the House and you need to win the Senate. Yeah, so true. And and those special elections uh, were costly. And there are people around him. I remember that very well that were uh, encouraging him not to go out and tell people to stay home, uh, but to make sure that he focused and emphasized uh, those Senate races. And so um, speaking of the, of the of the top of the ticket and the chief executive, um, there's a lot of commentary as well about um, some of the drama that surrounded President Trump, to put it mildly, also the issues with uh, picking personnel. And, you know, what we're seeing from his campaign right now is that really nobody that had experience and and frankly, competence in 2016 and 2020 is now working for his 2024 campaign. What does this tell you? And also um, in your experience working with him during his administration about personnel decisions that uh, would change and be different with someone like a governor DeSantis and his track record? So the, the almost random quality of the president's personnel decisions um, and with an extreme variance, um, really hurt our ability to get things done in, when he was president. And it is very telling that the people who were most up close, who worked with him the most, even in his campaign. So, yes, I, I helped Ted Cruz in 2016. But as you point out, Jenna, virtually everyone at the national level that worked on the president's 2016 campaign isn't there. Why not? And I'll, speaking just for myself from in the administration, 
as much as I appreciated the policies that were pursued, frankly, I was outnumbered in the White House trying to pursue the president's own policies on immigration. Um, it was an uphill fight to, to get his own agenda. And when he appoints people like Rex Tillerson, John Mattis, Reince Priebus, Mark Milley, empowers Tony Fauci, picks Chris Ray. I mean, I can go on and on, Omarosa, and on and on, and um, empowered Jared, frankly, who did a good job on, you know, Middle East peace agreements. But if you wanted to change legal immigration to protect Americans, <laughs> Jared Kushner wasn't an ally, yet he perfectly reflected President Trump. And uh, that was a huge problem. You look at Florida, Governor DeSantis doesn't have people on the team who aren't aligned with the mission goals. President Trump thinks he's picking people who are loyal to him. But what you need to pick is people loyal to the agenda, because it's supposed to be about America, not about the leader. And DeSantis gets that. And you see that reflected in how he has uh, made personnel selections. He's empowered them to perform and he's picking good people and they are performing. And uh, so it isn't just making good policy decisions like Trump did. You have to prepare well, including the personnel, then make the right decision. And then you have to execute fully and follow through. And the preparation and the execution and follow through in the Trump administration were very, very poor. And there's no reason to think that's going to get any better in, a, in the next four years. And, of course, DeSantis can be there eight years, not just four. And I'm speaking with Ken Cuccinelli, who's the founder of the Never Back Down uh, PAC that is encouraging Governor DeSantis to run. You can find that at neverbackdown.org. And, uh, sir, you have experience in uh, executive leadership, not only with your tenure during Trump's administration, but also as the former uh, Virginia Attorney General and you know other positions. And so you know what you're talking about. And and yet people will uh, come back and say, OK, well, you know, Trump really did care about America. And look at all of the ties of Ron DeSantis to um, you know the the Bushies and the and the George Soros and the WEF and all of these other things really without receipts and they get very upset when um, people like you and me and and I just posted last night a whole Twitter thread saying okay if the standard of disqualification of someone to run as a genuine Republican is that you have former uh, Bush operatives and establishment people in your campaign look at all the people Trump has hired and yet people don't want to <laughs> John don't want to Boehner's see that. guy was in charge of personnel John Boehner <laughs> and and you will never find a time that the president crossed Paul Ryan, mm -hmm. Mitch McConnell, or Kevin McCarthy while he was in office. Never once. Who was leading who? And, you know, when you watch him say, you know, grab the guns first, we'll do the due process later, you're shockingly reminded that the president kind of made a deal with us all in 2016. I'll do these things if you elect me. It was very transactional. And he did, he did most of them. He didn't do all of them, but he did most of them. And it was still a good argument in the White House. Hey, this is what you said in the campaign, Mr. President. But those have run their course. And now we're hitting the wall about how a transactional instead of a principle-based candidate has its limitations. And he's still got all the drama, all the downside um, that comes with, you know, just how he operates, how he functions. Um, and you don't get any of that drama with DeSantis. You just get performance. My parents happened to live in Lee County, Florida, which is where Hurricane Ian ended up coming ashore. Hit right, rolled right over Lee County. Um, they couldn't begin to stop praising the response by the governor. Um, and, you know, this is one of those pop quizzes for leadership that happens every so often. Uh, I tell people, whether you're voting for president or dog catcher, the first two things you get aren't R or D. It's character and judgment. And DeSantis has demonstrated great judgment and strong character. You look at the how the whole world was coming down on his head for his COVID freedom efforts. Um, but his judgment in dealing with crises in Florida, and they do happen in Florida, usually in the form of hurricanes, has been unmatched. And 
other people perhaps could have done these things and didn't. No one's done it as well as, as DeSantis. Nobody. President or governor in any state. It's been really quite a performance. And, and those, those, the globalist malarkey that you hear coming from Trump world, it's, it's just a different version of the name calling. You know, how much do you think those folks like DeSantis locking in on Disney and on Bud Light and on Airbnb and, and fighting them on their wokeness? Those people aren't about those fights, and yet DeSantis doesn't back down from them. And as a social conservative, and you know this, Jenna, you've been there too, for decades we've been looking for people to take on Disney, and this is the first guy to do it. He's the first one to do it, and he's winning, and he's dragging them back down to nothing more than the same level as every other business. That sounds fair and conservative to me. So, and in just the last few minutes I have with you, Ken Cuccinelli, and I really appreciate your perspective and your insight with this. Um, what do you say to the Trump world supporters that say, well, this is a question of loyalty and we owe President Trump the opportunity to basically have revenge for what was taken in 2020. DeSantis needs to wait his turn and he's this is disloyal of him. And how do we know that he isn't just going to uh, get in there and, you know, disturb every Everything that President Trump accomplished, because this there seem to be blinders on people that that are so focused on this loyalty question to Trump, because he's the one raising it, that they can't even contemplate maybe in a general election, someone like DeSantis actually has a better opportunity to win. So every election is about the future. There is no exception to that. Americans, and if you care about Americans, and that's who I care about. I don't care about Ron DeSantis or Donald Trump any more than I do every other American. This isn't supposed to be about them. It's supposed to be about America and our fellow Americans. And the, the whole view you described, Jenna, I agree with you that it exists. And there are people who have a hard time shaking it. And they're wrong. And frankly, they're, they're no American, no ordinary American is going to look at their election that way. They're going to they're going to look at well who can do the most to make America the way I'd like to see it to lead us there. And there's one guy across the country and this isn't a knock again on the president. The, never back down isn't anti-Trump. We're pro DeSantis. That's right. what we are. DeSantis is the A+ plus applicant <laughs> for this job. And there's no one else close to him. Not Biden, of course, not Trump, not any of the other folks circling this potential race. None of them come close to his principles and his performance combined. They just don't. And if you can get that for eight years um, for the benefit of America, why wouldn't you? We owe it to all those who've gone before us and sacrificed so much to deliver us the greatest country in the history of the world to give that country the best shot it's got of remaining as good as it's ever been and getting better still. And there, that's the way to ask this question. That's how to ask this question. And what's the answer to that question? The answer to that question is Ron DeSantis. It's that simple. Really well said. Ken Cuccinelli, founder of the Never Back Down Pack. Thank you so much for boldly speaking these perspectives and willing to confront uh, those who would say this is a question of loyalty and all of the other uh, things. So Never Back Down, and you can find that at neverbackdown.org. We will be right back with more here on Jenna Ellis in the morning to talk about truth, our country, and the future. With inflation, the banking world collapse, and everything that Joe Biden is doing not to protect America, you need to make sure to secure your financial health, especially in retirement. And hey, if you're a millennial like me, that actually is sooner than you think. You need to start now, even if you are a millennial or a Gen Zer, to make sure that your financial health is actually healthy when we get to retirement. And Legacy Precious Metals has a revolutionary new online platform that allows you 
you to invest in gold and silver online in real time. In a few easy steps, you can open an account online, select your metals of choice, and choose to have them stored in a vault or shipped right to your door. You'll have access to a dashboard where you can track your portfolio growth in real time anytime. You'll see transparent pricing on each coin and bar, and this puts you in complete control of your money. The platform is free to sign up for. Visit LegacyPMInvestments.com and open your account and see this new investing platform for yourself. Gold hedges against inflation and against a volatile stock market. A truly diversified portfolio isn't just more stocks and bonds, but different asset classes. This brand new platform allows you to make investments in gold and silver, no matter how small or large, with just a few clicks. Visit LegacyPM.com to get started. You can download the free investor's guide and you can also call Legacy PM Investments to talk to a portfolio expert to get expert answers to your uh, to customize your personal portfolio. So visit LegacyPMInvestments.com to get started. Tell them that Jenna sent you. Have you ever picked up a towel set because it felt so soft in the store, but then when you leave and you go to use it, it's not really that absorbent? It's basically a towel that is leaving you out to dry. That's why MyPillow has developed the MyPillow towels, towels that actually work. I know, it's totally mind-blowing. Towels that actually dry you. Their six-piece towel set includes two bath towels, two hand towels, and two washcloths. They come in a variety of colors, I have the sage green and the white. I love them. And right now you can receive a six piece set for only $39.98 with promo code Jenna. That's J-E-N-N-A. So go to MyPillow.com right now and click on the radio listener special. MyPillow products come with a 10 year warranty and have a 60 day money back guarantee. So to receive this amazing offer on the six piece towel set of MyPillow towels, just go to MyPillow.com, click on the radio listener special and enter promo code Jenna, that's J-E-N-N-A, or call 1-800-564-8475. That's MyPillow.com, promo code Jenna.